right, good afternoon. Welcome back to Nail School. Wanted to get this episode in before I left town. So we do have a treat today. So Kara is wearing uh, some gel on her nails. I want to be able to show you guys how to remove gel safely from the surface of the nail uh, using your electric file. So I'm going to be using my Young Nail Safety Bit. And I want to be able to show you guys, obviously, speeds that I'm working at. That way you understand. So uh, I'm going to be getting my e-file, and I'm going to be getting this up to, I'd say, about 10,000 RPMs. Okay, so it's, again, fast enough where I'm going to be able to remove product, and it's also, again, slow enough where I have, like, great control. So I'm going to fire up my dust extractor. Okay, so here's the thing. You have to be able, again, to use a feathering motion. You could see that when I'm holding on to this. And another thing is too, you can see that I'm actually resting her hand on the dust extractor. Um, this is going to give me the ability, again, to work through. So what I usually do is, if I'm working in one direction, one direction, then what I'm actually able to do, and what I'm actually able to do is work around the body without the bit slipping. I don't want the bit to slip around. So I want to be able to work in one direction and I have to constantly be basically pulling towards myself. So if I'm working around the cuticle area and you can see all the dust being sucked down here, this is a great way, uh, again, for you to uh, keep the dust basically off your clothes and away from your face. So, uh, you know, as I'm working through, I'm just getting a feel, I'm getting the top coat off. I want to be able to use a, a light feathering motion to get the product off. I can put a little bit more pressure here towards the front, but I'm constantly working around the nail and using a light feathering motion to get it off the nail so that my customer does not feel a tremendous amount. She has just a hair amount of lifting here. And what I'm going to be able to do, as you can see, is slowly work it down, work it down, and then I'm, I'm literally going in one direction. So you're going to notice at this point, like if, if I was to just kind of pull away, you see how it kind of flicks? Look at that. So that product is going to separate, um, and then I can constantly use, again, I'm working in one direction. I'm not going to dig. Like if there's exposed natural nail there, I don't want to come on the natural nail. I need to stay on the product, right? So you want to be able to remove if there's any separation um, by cutting behind the lifted area so that if you're using, um, again, something to remove it, um, you're going to be able to get it off without doing damage or creating any type of tear on the natural nail. And then as it starts getting closer, I start, again, using a very, very light flicking motion flicking motion, right? I'm not, again, going to dig at the nail. Like you can even see right there in the corner, I'm using a very, very light motion to get this off. There's just a hair more. And then as you can see, I got the majority of the product off. Whatever is there, like I'll keep my barrel on the surface of the gel. I don't want to keep it onto the natural nail. And honestly, that is enough for me to reprep it and get it ready to go. Now, here, she has a little bit of a glitter prep. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to get the top coat off. And you can see I'm pulling in one direction, one direction, one direction, one direction, work around the cuticle, work around the cuticle. And then as I come down towards the front of the nail, I could, again, I'm working always in one direction. You can see as I'm pulling down towards the free edge, I'm using zone one of my barrel, zone two of my barrel, all the way down to zone three. I'm not just going to dig. I want to use feathering motion, light feathering motion. And you can even see like even as close to the cuticle area, if I'm using a light feathering motion and taking my time, what I'll be able to do is slowly, you can see it's, it's starting to come off the surface. She has a, a nice little foundation. What do you have underneath? Manicure in the pot. Perfect. So manicure in the pot is underneath acting as the base shell, right? And then as I start working down, I'm using a feathering motion, feathering motion, feathering motion. I don't need to dig off that right there. I'll show you what you could do to get that off the nail. Now, here on this side, 
again, if I'm, if I'm using my finger as balance, then what I can do is be very gentle. I don't need to. I could work around the corner using a flicking motion and then here. I'm using one direction coming this way with zone three of the barrel. Flicking motion, flicking motion, light flicking motion. I don't want the bit to jump. All I want to be able to do is use that light motion to get a majority of the product off. Okay, now, once it gets down to here, I don't want to be able to use the whole entire surface area to try to like, you know, again, dig around the edge. So what we can do is we could go ahead and switch out to the diamond cuticle bit, the round diamond cuticle bit. And then again, I'm gonna lower my electric file down to around 4,000, maybe 5,000 RPMs. And then slowly be able to work. Again, you can see I'm using, again, a really light flicking motion just to kind of tickle away and remove the remaining product around the edge. I don't want to dig at it. I want to just kind of tickle at it, tickle at it, right? Using, and again, you can see this bit is not going to cut, but you can already see the difference that I'm actually able to do by just kind of flicking and clicking away all that product, right? A nice gentle amount, even right here to get as close as I can. And again, since, since I'm only using just one little part of the barrel, I want to be able to try to remove and it'll kind of loosen it up uh, so that if you needed to take, again, maybe a sanding band to the edge, it'll be able to come out. But you can see that I could actually spend my time, go through, clean everything off of the edges, prepare it for reapplication. This is really going to set you up so that when you're about to do any type of of gel surface, um, you can see I still have a little bit maybe just right here, but you can see that I've cleaned up a majority of the products all the way through. Um, sometimes it even helps, like what I'll do is I'll even use just my hand file just around, again, just right here around the edges as I'm doing, again, some detailing to get everything basically cleaned up and off the nails without doing any damage to her natural nails at all. This is really, really important. Um, and again, you can see the amount of dust that it is collected. Um, this is what you're gonna be able to obviously just dish out. You could get right back on, and then again, you're gonna be able to use this for your portable cleaning. Reprep the nail, protein bond, reapplication. This is the process I go through when I'm changing gels out on a regular basis. Um, but this is what you're gonna to need to learn how to do. Again, to separate yourself from everybody else. In order for you to be able to be successful at maintenance, your electric filing skills is really, again, what's going to separate your nail tech. It's gonna turn you into a nail ninja. And if you could remove it without doing damage to your customer's natural nails on a regular basis or even your own, um, unbelievable what you'll be able to achieve in the salon. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys at OWC uh, Acrylic in the next two weeks. I hope you guys have a safe spring break, uh, wonderful Easter, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you guys for your time. Um, again, if you guys have any questions, 1-800-777-9170. Uh, uh, get a hold of customer service uh, and smash that like button. We need that for... Uh, us to be able to get the contact uh, content out to everybody out there so they could uh, learn how to do nails uh, much better and safer. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Talk to you soon. Peace. Subscribe channel now. Subscribe channel now. Sub and subscribe to channel.